Hi guys, uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, calculating the power of special type of signals called periodic signals. Remember that the power of any general signal can be computed in this by using this formula, where we have uh, where, where this part means that you have to take the window length as large as possible, and then you have to find the energy in a window, and then you divide by the window width. Now when we know that the signal is periodic, there is no need to take the window as large as possible. Rather, we can only take the window of size equal to the period period of that periodic signals. So um, let me write this thing in, in words. So generally speaking, speaking, the power is is um, uh, windowed energy, which is this thing over here, and divided by the window length. And then you have to make sure that the window length is as large as possible. Whereas in the case of periodic signals, uh, we don't have to take large windows. All we can do is take the window length equal to the period of a periodic signal. Let me use an example to further explain this uh, concept. So let's just say that we have a signal which is periodic and we have to find its power. So this is a periodic signal. X of t, and let's just label them as this, and make the height equals to three. Now, if I'm if I'm asked to find the power of it, one of the ways is to use the generalized formula of power, where we have to take um, the window window of size as large as possible, as mentioned by this limit, and then we have to find the energy in this window, and then divide by the window length. Now, the moment we realize the signal is periodic, there is no need to take the window length as large as possible. Rather, we can take the window length to be equal to a period of this periodic signal. So the peri period of this periodic signal is 2 seconds. So we can say that capital T is 2. So all we have to do is the, we can find the power by uh, finding the energy in this window, which is going to be equal to 0 to 2 x of t mod square over the window length which is now equals to 2 and if I if I solve this integral um, this x of t is uh, equal to 3 from 0 to 1 so from 0 to 1 the value of x of t is 3 3 mod is 3 and the mod and then we have to square it dt and from 1 to 2 we have x of t equal to 0 and if I solve this equation I'm going to end up with um, 9 by 2 which is 4.5 volts. Um, let's take another example of discrete time sequences. Um, let's just say that this is my discrete time sequence y of n where we have at 0 the impulse height is 3 at 1 the impulse height is uh, 1, at 2 the impulse height is minus 1 and then it starts to repeat. Uh, so it's 3, 1, 1, and so on and so forth. So the question is to find the power of this sequence y of n. Um, the first thing that we have to check for is if that signal is periodic. And if it's periodic, there is no need to take the window length to be as large as possible. Rather, we can take the window length to be equal to uh, the period only. Remember that this is only true for the case when the signal is periodic. So be careful when you use this um, a special case. Now here, the signal is periodic. It has a period of 3. We can see that the signal value, sample value is 1 here. It's minus 1, it's 3, and then it starts again. So and, it, and it repeats itself and so the the sample um, uh, so we have um, the period of n to be equal to three samples and to find the power of this signal y all we have to do is sum the samples sum the samples over the period and sorry sum the squared values of the sample over the period 
divided by the period. Um, so if I open this equation, I'm going to get y of, um, I'm going to get n starts from 1 till 3, y of n more square divided by capital N is 3. I'm going to end up with y of, when n is 1, we'll have y of 1 more square. When n is 2, we'll have y of 2. And when n is 3, we'll have y of 3 more square divided by 3. Now that's going to give us a result of uh, uh, y of 1 is uh, 1. Sorry. So it's 1 square is 1. Then y of 2 is minus 1. So minus 1 squared is, after taking the mod and squaring is 1. Then y of uh, 3 is is 3. So it's going to be 9 divided by 3. It's 11 by 3. I guess I guess you cannot use a units of watts here. Um, because you're not really sure what this signal is. Is it voltages or what? And similarly, you cannot really use a unit of watt here, just leave it like that. So the power of this sequence is 11 by 3. Yeah, thank you very much for listening. If you have any question regarding finding the power of periodic signal, um, just leave them in the comment section and I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you.